what's up guys and today I'm going to be showing you how to get the Umbra Sword and for Ebony Armour. For this there is no requirements, you can do this at any level, under any class, anytime you want. You can only get one full set of Ebony and Umbra Sword. Not to my knowledge, I don't think you can duplicate them. I will be making a video about how to duplicate, but let's get started on how to get there. You'll start your journey from the Imperial Waterfront across this river. To this kind of marker. I don't know how to say it, I'm not gonna give it a go. Should end up here. Just go into this door. And uh, just a warning, there will be a lot of traps and um, poisonous gas around there because I don't want to get hurt at all. Nearly run onto the platform, just jump around the corners. And just follow through down. There will be a lot of chests and whatnot, but uh, I can't bother to jump over the poisonous gas or go around. Here we go, just a tip, make sure nothing's coming to attack you, you don't want nothing jumping on the fight. I need to go for this little chest. Nothing really good in there, just a strong potion of fortune. Oh, mud crab. One shot. The Dawn Fang sword. I will be making a guide about how to obtain it, but you will need shivering isles. Uh, here's another tip, go under gameplay, difficulty, make it the easiest difficulty. This means you have as many poisons, as many uh, off hits, or whatever you want to call them. And you won't be able to get parry damage. Okay, let's get the uh, fight started. Now, just a tip if you start the fight with a bow and arrow, you should get times two or three or four, depending on the hit of damage. Duplicate some potions of healing and some strong potions of healing. Just wear some gear. You can use any armor on. Her weakness is magic, but if you get a good starting here on her, you'll get some stuff done. Um, here I'm just checking if she gives you a quest or not. She just says yes, and that's it. There's no nothing really to do. She says go, get out of here. So I'll just go find. You're dead. And uh, let's get started. So go for the crouch shot, line it up, and cut the bow. Times two sneak attack. Okay, I'm gonna try here again with another arrow, but I just clearly miss, and she just jumps down. As you can see, her attack speed's very good. I try to keep some distance between me and her by shooting fireballs. As you can see, she's already got one disease, I mean, two diseases, back to one. These diseases will lower that your health, make you absorb more damage, and then she disarms you. And I didn't care if I was going to die, I need to pick up that sword. And uh, I kind of just boxed her for a bit. And just a little bit of a helping hand. When she runs back next, I spawn, if you're a dark elf. Um, you have a trait of a summoned ghost who will help you attack. This will last for 60 seconds and it will do quite a bit of damage. Seems as her weakness is um, magic. I just jump about for a bit, wait for these uh, disenchants to go. Get a couple of heals. Then get burning touch to finish her off. As you can see, my ghost does pack out quite a bit of damage on it. Here we go. And I make sure I pick up the sword, the shield, and the full ebony, and the 24 gold. I get over encumbered because I'm a light armor wearer, and I kill my ghost. Are we making a video about how to duplicate with scrolls and arrows? 
stay tuned uh, subscribe like leave a comment video response inbox me for any other tips and games I will be making a video about how to get full Deirdre and glass there will be a level cap for it and uh, I will get some more information I've enjoyed doing this commentary this is recruiting gaming on oblivion elder scrolls peace